Eight months pass. With the murder of Constable Lunsford still fresh in his mind, Trooper Lopez pulls over a car carrying three men. As I walked up to the car, I noticed that the backseat passenger gave me a particular stare, almost like if he was scared of something or just apprehensive about something. Trooper Lopez speaks with the suspects in Spanish. And I asked what they had in the trunk. I said, well, you all mind if I look in the trunk? And they said, no, go ahead. The front seat passenger was adamant about wanting to get out of the car for some reason. I think they realized, well, he's going to find out what, what they're trying to conceal. I got a strong odor of uh, a detection of marijuana, which was emitting from inside the trunk area. The other two men get out of the car. Now watch how closely Trooper Lopez comes to getting killed. The suspect reaches for his gun. Lopez sees this, shoves the suspect, and takes evasive action. All I could think of was drawing my gun. But at the same time, I'm thinking, let me gain a little distance between him and myself. Lopez's quick thinking enables him to avoid certain death. Amazingly, while running away from the gunman, Lopez is able to draw his weapon and fire. His first shot finds its target. Oh my God! The gunman is merely wounded, and the gunfight rages on. The other two suspects escape into the night. Lopez continues to shoot it out with the suspect, then takes cover in the darkness before making his way back to his squad car. Another trooper responds to his call for backup. Suddenly, Lopez spots the gunman in his rearview mirror. I see him behind my patrol car. So I threw the, the microphone down and, and, and went after him again. Listen as another gun battle erupts. Miraculously, Trooper Lopez isn't seriously injured in the shootout. Despite the number of shots fired, he is grazed only once. The suspect isn't as lucky. A manhunt ensues, through the night and into the next day. Police eventually capture the other two suspects. 